When it comes to Class B motorhomes, there are two types you need to know about, a B and a B plus. And in this video, we're going to look at the B plus motorhome. I'm going to start with one of the nicest ones you'll find on the road from Leisure Travel Vans. It's, it's a Class C. We call them a B plus because you'll see it doesn't have the big overhang for sleeping. Yeah, the cab, yeah. Right, so it doesn't have the big cab over here, you know, so you have a panoramic view when you're driving. So we kind of call them in the slang a B plus in our industry because a B is a van. Yeah. But in, in for licensing purposes, it would be registered as a class C. This is the 2018 Wonder FTB built on the Ford Transit chassis by Leisure Travel Vans. And it's how big? It's 24 feet, nine inches, bumper to bumper, seven feet, 10 inches wide, and it's under 10 feet exterior height, so it can fit it into some garages as well. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, so number one, of course, full body paint. So each color is painted three times and two coats of clear. Frameless, sexy glass windows is like the sale. Awning style windows, so what that means is they open up, so if it was raining outside, you don't have to worry about having to close the windows. It's got the uh, Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. This is a very cool hot water heater for those that don't understand instant hot water heaters. What makes this unit very unique is that it has this little tank here, one liter of hot water that stays hot all the time when you're on the Comfort Plus mode. So each line that goes to a hot water tank is connected directly. So sink, bathroom sink, shower. When I turn on for hot water, it uses this one liter of water. By the time that one liter gets used, the heat exchangers are hot and I have continuous unlimited hot water. So very unique and great hot water heater. Okay, as we work our way down, of course, everybody wants to have a, a generator on board. So this is a 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. So that'll run everything, your air conditioner, it'll run your uh, anything inside the motorhome. So 3.6 kilowatts of power, that runs propane. 16,000 BTU furnace. We have a little outside uh, connection 110 plug here. When you're plugged in, you can run a little outside TV or whatever you want. And of course, on the Ford chassis, uh, the aluminum rims are standard, but that comes directly from Ford, so those are Ford aluminum rims. As we work our way around, you can see here a little place for shoes, so you don't have to worry about tripping on your shoes. You can put your shoes deep inside there. I kind of like that little power step. And then, of course, as we work our way down, we have easy access to our two batteries and we have our 1000 pure sine wave inverter. So that's a pure sine wave inverter. So for charging anything, you know, all of our high tech gadgets now require pure uh, electrical power. This is a pure sine wave power storage. Very nice. And then you're going to really like this more storage. And then I control my awning right here. So this has got a power awning. If you look up there, so a simple press of a button. And I've also got my light switch. So that's all controlled right there. And of course we move our way down. We cut our we kind of integrate the body in with the chassis. I really like the way it's aerodynamically designed. And you also notice that the wall is curved. So one of the unique features about a leisure travel van, all of our walls are curved, not a flat square box. You're not gonna bump and get a sharp edge. Right. You kind of bounce off gently. <laughs> and more aerodynamic. And of course, we talked a little bit about earlier, this is our, the uh, 3.2 uh, liter uh, five cylinder turbo diesel, six speed automatic transmission. So, and that runs on the Ford Transit chassis. And we work our way down to this side. Like I said, we have lots of interior storage, if you remember, Mike, but look at the exterior storage. Look, huge amount of exterior storage. Oh my goodness, there goes my, uh, Gravity chairs can go in yes, there. My absolutely. fishing poles can go in there. And then we got a little place here for your uh, when you're dumping your tanks. If you don't order the optional macerator pump, so we've got the three-inch hose connection there. And even here is more storage. So if those uh, chairs didn't fit there, they'll probably fit up in here. That looks like fishing poles to me. Or fishing poles. Good idea. I like that. Fishing poles. Yes. Yeah. And then on this side here, this is where our uh, propane uh, tank is. So for our filling up our propane tank, which is always done by a certified propane filler, that's a built-in propane tank, easy access right there. Shore power connection. Now, you're not, okay, if your chairs and your fishing poles didn't fit in the other three spots, how about this one? My golf clubs are going in here. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yes, so I mean, a ton of storage. And of course, all the transit chassis are dual wheels, right? So not single wheels at the back, but dual wheels. 
sometimes you can't quite see that. So very stable when you're driving down the road. And then our service center right here. So uh, outside shower, this one has our optional macerator pump. Black water flush. Uh, this is kind of a cool little feature for winterization. You can uh, quickly pick up the RV antifreeze and run it through the lines for us from Michigan and Canada, like you are. And then of course, um, if you want to fill up fresh water, let's say you run out of fresh water and you have a jug of water, you can actually put this in and suck the water up into your fresh water tank. So that makes winterizing literally a five minute process. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yep. So what's very cool about this particular floor plan is I've got two living areas up front here. So I've got a living area on this side. I've got a kind of a sofa over on this side. So it's very dual purpose. So you're gonna love this. So my dining room table comes sliding out this way. And now I've got a place here to play cards, built in drink holders. I can simply move it back in out of the way when I don't want to use it. I've also got a nice little TV area here for watching TV. I can turn and swivel it and you can actually watch TV from the galley area if you uh, want to watch a cooking show while cooking, which would be kind of unique. And of course the TV area back here can swivel and I can watch TV from on this side, two or three people, or these cushions are kind of cool because they kind of slide across and now I've kind of got my area back here for reading, working on my iPad and watching TV. So then from the living room area, and you have lots of room, two big windows, so you have lots of natural light. I can actually make it into a queen size bed very simply. These just come across and I push these cushions back in here and now I've got a nice big queen bed. So lots of room, very multifunctional. Comfort's the big thing yeah, in 2018. Exactly. So, and versatility too, I think. Comfort and versatility, right? So now I, you know, move it back. Goes back into a dining room area or a living area. So now this, you don't have to put any support in between it. it no, just nothing. Sort of pulls like a like a fold away bed. Yeah, comes that's across. what it is. The yeah, fold away, fold away bed. bed. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, we've done with the lighter woods now, so it feels like we're very open. This is a non-slide motorhome, so it feels very open. And if you look at the storage area, it's quite amazing. Big hanging closet. Lots of storage, more storage. And then over on this side, look at that beautiful pantry, fridge, three, three way fridge, gas, uh, LP, and uh, sorry, propane, 12 volt and 110 power. Bath is in the back, dedicated. Huge. Yeah. So this, this motorhome is kind of unique for if anybody has some mobility issues. Right, so you've got a private door here, but look at the size of this shower. This is the largest shower we have in any of our motorhomes. And Mike, you can attest I'm a pretty big guy, yeah. but look how much room there is in here. How tall are you, Dean? I'm 6'1". 6'1". And with my shoes, probably 6'2", but you know, yeah. what a great use of space for the bathroom. So if you have any mobility issues, this is a great motorhome. How big is the fresh water tank? Uh, fresh water tank's 30 gallons. 30 gallons, yep. and of course city water is as much as you want. Exactly, yeah. yep. Yeah. And we run the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater on the uh, Wonders as well, so you have unlimited hot water. China toilet, and you know, once again, you know, lots of room, nice medicine cabinet up above. And then if you look at the galley area, if you like to cook, look at the size of this galley. Big, deep stainless steel sink. Two burner spark ignition stove. You know, lots of storage space. So if you want a motorhome with lots of storage space, and we're only 24 feet, nine inches. It's hard to believe that's his total length. 24 feet, nine inches. Bumper to bumper. Nice big drawers. And general, well, look at that. Built in. Uh, mm -hmm. That's such can. an easy thing to put in. Yep, easy access to your water pump for winterization or. Because we don't have that in Arizona, though, do we? <laughs> Not what we're here. We do in Manitoba and in <laughs> Michigan. Yeah, yeah, and Michigan. Yeah, yeah. I am uh, really impressed with these uh, sofas. This yeah. is so thick. These cushions. It is, and it's easy to sit on, comfortable. Yeah. You can actually leave all your bedding underneath here, right? Yeah. yeah. Pull them together, make it into one big bed. But you can see, you know, we're two pretty big guys. We have lots of room here, lots of access to watching TV, dinner. 
And what'd you say this gets for mileage? You know, probably that. You know, I, I took it out myself. I had seventeen point six mpg that was fresh out of the factory. I put about four thousand kilometers on it on that trip, so that was kind of my average, brand new out of the plant. So I think it's going to be in that fifteen to seventeen range. I think. Somewhere How big in there. Uh, do you think in the uh, in the small motor home market uh, is the Ford Transit chassis going to be? I think it's going to be big. Yeah, I think they're really uh, they're really after this particular segment of the market. I know that in the commercial truck business, like your courier vans, they own thirty percent of that business in what three years so uh, they have big plans for this particular um, uh, motorhome and, and uh, the RV industry and of course the engine then can be serviced by any Ford dealer correct big advantage that they have there yep they have a lot of service centers in North America not all B plus vans are necessarily longer than a regular B they are wider though but some, like this one from Pleasure Way, is almost diminutive. Marshall, what is the latest in 2018, 2019? We have a very small 22-foot mini motorhome that's going to give you a very large bathroom, very large bedroom, and a tremendous amount of space in a very small drivable package. And what model is this? This, this is the Plateau XL MB, Murphy bed. Murphy bed. Come and take 22 a look feet. So it's the short spinner chassis. Yes, it's only 22 feet, 9 inches, so it'll be the same length as a lot of the uh, Class B camper vans that are in the market today. Just slightly wider version, allowing us to give a little more interior, a little more kitchen, a little more bathroom, and a lot of outside storage. All right, show me how it all works and comes together. Certainly. With the push of a button, the sofa will drop down. Once the sofa is completely in the down position, you will be able to pull the queen size Murphy bed down, giving you the ability to have a 60 by 74 queen size bed in a 22 foot little van. My goodness. And that's a real mattress, it looks like. That is correct. It's made out of uh, memory foam with a Dacron cooling topper. So not only is it comfortable, it's cool. We left enough space behind the locks to where we can leave the pillows and the sheets and shams on the bed and simply put it away. So unlike the vans, you no longer have to make your bed every night and every morning. And you don't have to put a support between everything, just a switch. And then you have a really comfortable, comfortable sofa. What is this made of? This is a, a ultra leather is the fabrics. The reason we use ultra leather is because of the durability, the ease of cleaning, and the fact that it's going to last a long time. And I noticed a really nice looking floor. What's, uh, what's unique about that? That is correct. Well, we use a, uh, a bow floor from Carefree, and uh, it looks with the pattern extremely nice. It's very elegant, but most importantly, it's going to last. All right. Okay. Wonderful counter space all the way throughout, as you can see here, with plenty of storage below for uh, all the goodies. Uh, a lot of people use this as a wine cabinet. Obviously, got some storage for DVDs, movies, components, and things like that. Quite a bit more storage for the same types of items up above and very large storage locker over the cab oh, i could you could put a pair of golf clubs in there a set of golf clubs in easily there, just the last time i went to hawaii for 10 days i brought one bag this could unpack about four suitcases worth of clothes uh, that's pretty good and we've, uh, let's take a look at the uh, storage under the bed look at that beautiful kitchen workspace plenty of counter space You'll also see significant amount of drawers below. You'll notice a nice big pot and pan drawer down on the base, and all of our drawers are residential closing, soft closed drawers. A lot of counter space, two burner gas propane stove, real nice mowing faucet with a stainless steel sink. Good space up above, plenty for a few plates, few cups, few components that you're going to be bringing. And what you don't get in a van, a bathroom to desire. A dedicated, full bathroom. That is correct. I always like to point out the materials used with the solid Corian backsplash instead of the wallpaper that you typically are going to get. Real residential porcelain commode, so it's comfortable, residential in size. And what you don't get in any Class B, the most beautiful shower you can lay your eyes on. Yes, that's solid polished Corian. Oh my goodness. Quality of materials used in Pleasure Way Motorhomes. Absolutely awesome. And you have a privacy door here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you close that. You got plenty of room to change in. 
Everything controlled up here? Yes, sir. We have a seven inch control panel, which will give us all of our tank levels, battery levels, ability to control air conditioning, furnace, and the thermostat. And for this year, we've actually incorporated auto gen start, which will allow us to start the generator via low battery voltage, via the air conditioning system, if you have animals in here, or by time of day. So you can start and stop the generator at will. This system also will be our light panel switches, which will allow us to control all the individual lights in the house. Or I can turn everything off with a push of a button, everything back on the way I had it when I'm complete. Also now I have controls for my awning, for my power sofa, and also the fantastic fan with a rain sensor on board. And if anything fails, simply go to our diagnostics page where all of our breakers are shown in use or not in use and uh, they are resettable breakers as opposed to fuses that need to be replaced. So you don't have to pull that, that annoying little uh, covering off and look at those fuses individually. That is correct. It's all right there. And if you need to reset our breakers underneath this panel here, I will show you. You can see the push button resettable breaker panel. That's your 12 volt load center. We try to make life simple. Okay. Television? Yep, that is correct. TV runs off of the uh, uh, Blu-ray player as well. Uh, or you uh, power this off of your WineGuard Razor antenna through the ceiling. That's just a push of a button to uh, turn on and a push of a button to search. Let's go back outside and take a look at this uh, from the outside now that we appreciate the inside. Absolutely. And then tell me more about the chassis. This is a one ton Sprinter chassis. It's a cutaway version. It's 22 feet, nine inches in length. And uh, we are the narrowest of the wide body vans in the industry. I so this is technically a B plus. That is correct. It's actually a C, but it's a B plus as the industry calls that it. That is correct. The, the small motorhome market though, everywhere, no yep. matter what manufacturing brand, they're, they're all exploding, aren't that they? That is correct, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think people are trying to uh, use this vehicle more than store the vehicle. And they're finding through history, you know, they'd rather depreciate a motorhome 100 trips out of a year versus 10 trips out of the year. Because at the end of that year, it's called being worth it. If you think you need a little more room than a B, check into a B plus. Lots of room, but still maneuverable enough that you can drive it just about anywhere. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching. Before you go, please do us a favor and subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Thanks.